I'm always wondering what to do with the tags that come in a digital kit, and I'm always wanting to decorate them up and do something different. So today I'm going to be playing with these tags, and these are from Blue Memories by Line.Arrow, and this is a journal that I'm going to be making soon. So I decided that I wanted to work on the tags, and I've printed these on copy paper, actually by accident, but I didn't want to trash it. I wanted to figure out a way just to use them this way. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I just want to say if you're new, welcome to my channel Making Crafts, and if you're already a subscriber or a watcher, thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos, and welcome back. So let's just get together today and just craft. This is just a relaxing video where we're just going to not have to do a lot of thinking. We're just going to back these tags with some different papers, and I think that'll make it neat to have a collage back on our tags. It'll be something different. I'm trying to do some different things with this journal than I do. I don't want to do the same thing in every journal that I create, so I'm trying some new things. I probably say that each time. So I have some journal cards from the kit as well as some tags, and both of them are printed on copy paper, and like I said, by accident. Normally I print on either cardstock or 32 pound paper, but this was what was in the printer and I didn't realize it. So I'm just going to start by collaging the back and then we'll chat as I do it. And so this journal is a, it's called Blue Memories, and I I really love the colors of blue, and I love the colors in this journal. So blue is not my favorite color, but for, I say that all the time. But for some reason, I always love using blue, so I'm starting to wonder if blue might be my favorite color. Um, I have all boys, and so years ago when I was younger, I liked more pinks and reds. But as, through the years, as I've had boy after boy. I have three boys total. Everything is always blue, and I've grown to love blue. And so now, I, I would say turquoise blue is my, and teals are my favorite blues, but, um, so I really love this kit because it has a lot of those colors in it. So what I'm doing is I'm just, this is just some packing paper from um, a package that I got, and so what I did was I just folded it up and smoothed it out as best I could, because you know it comes kind of balled up in the package, and so I love to use that in my journal, so I'm just going to collage on the back, and I know I'm going to be wasting some when I cut these out, but I think this will be an easier way to do it, instead of going through and cutting out each tag and then trying to collage each tag, and I'm forgetting what I was saying because I'm looking for some my glue stick. I'm going to try glue stick with this today and let's just see how it goes. If I don't like it, then I'll stop and switch over to my other glue. You know, I have some book pages. So let me grab one of those to lay my paper on to use the glue stick because it's going to get all over everything, I'm afraid. And I think the glue stick kind of stiffens or makes your projects feel a little thicker. And so I think that's what I need today for this. And I'm not going all the way up to the edge because I just remembered that my tags don't go all the way up to the edge. So I'm just going to collage around, and I love collaging. We are having a beautiful snow day here, and it's too cold to do anything but stay indoors and craft. Well, honestly, I could stay indoors and clean, but that wouldn't be fun, would it? So I am going to craft instead. And the mess will wait for me to clean another day. And it is Sunday afternoon, so Sundays are for relaxing. I always think that I should relax on Sunday. I can clean on Monday through Friday, Saturday. Well, I kind of relax on Saturdays too. But I don't, I don't enjoy cleaning that much, so I'd rather be in my craft room crafting. So I hope that you will sit down and join me if you feel like it today. And Which, if you don't, then watching is fine. It gives. Hopefully you'll find some ideas so when you do feel like crafting, you can craft along, but hopefully you feel like crafting today, you can sit down and watch me and craft along with me. This is a simple project where we don't have to really think about it today. We don't have to, you know, a lot of times when you're doing decorating things, it takes me forever. I have to sit and think about, okay, what am, what am I going to add to this part and that part? And so sometimes that can be a little bit more of a video where you have to think instead of just chilling like we are today. And so here I'm just, just this is just some tea stained paper and some, some of it's tea stained, some of it's coffee stained. I'm not sure which is which. I like to do both. I mainly do coffee staining because I just find it's easier for me to pull out some instant coffee and 
make myself up a, just a small little batch because I, I just stained small batches at a time. But I am realizing that I should have stained more batches over the summer because now that it's winter, it's hard to get it to dry. So I've been kind of waiting for a sunny day in order to stain some more. Now this right here is a page out of a Dollar Tree book that I bought. It's just a manuscript handwriting book for children. And so that's what this is. I'm just going to have all the edges torn. It's very thin, so I'm hoping it would be okay. If I have to put two layers, I will. If I find that it's too thin, I can just add another layer to it. And it is sleeting some outside now, too. And my youngest schnauzer, for some reason, when the ice is hitting the windows, she is not liking it at all. She is fussing. So you'll hear her bark from time to time if it starts to get noisy. The sleet gets noisy, then she does, too. She's not happy with all this, and she is not happy, definitely, when she goes out. She is not happy with, with all this snow. She doesn't like to go out and get wet. You know, I should have been doing these smaller because the tags are small enough that some of these are not going to, you're not going to have different pieces of paper on the tags. So I'm going to have to remember to do that for the rest of this project. Just, And it looks like this um, glue stick's kind of making it curl, so I may have to lay this under some books once I get done. So we're just doing a neutral collage because this is the back of the tags. So on the back of the tags we definitely want to be able to journal. So I didn't want to use any prints. I did think about it but I decided that probably wouldn't be the best thing since you wouldn't be able to journal. Let's get some more of this. knocking everything over today. This does not tear as easily as some things, as you can see, because it is thinner. Just put that there. So let me know below what is the weather like where you are at. I know everybody is in different areas. Some people, if you're below the equator, you're having summer now, so I'm sure it's gorgeous where you're at. And then others are like myself. In the northern hemisphere, we're having cold weather. So let me know how the weather is where you're at. Is it hot? Is it cold? Are you having snow? Or is it dry? We hadn't had a lot of snow this year, so we're really excited to get some. So when we're doing this collage, we're really not going to know what each tag is going to have until we cut it apart. So I kind of like that. I like the surprise of it. So let's see here. kind of didn't want the same papers to overlap because then they are going to be on the same tag. I'm not sure what I did with this one that's got the stripes with the, the um, coffee stain in it. It's probably somewhere I'd laid it, but it does add a little something different to it. And I just pulled all of this out of my scrap bin. So I had enough of this, all of it just, except for the, um, wipe that off my finger, except for the book page from the manuscript book. All of this comes from, let me put this over here. All of it comes from my scrap bin because I had so many bits and pieces in my scrap bin that I thought it's time to start cleaning it out. And so I'm trying to use a lot of it up because I don't want to trash it, but I do want to get some of it used up so I can clean it out. I'm getting quite a bit of scraps like that that I just tuck in the bin and I'm not using. So. This will be a good project for using those up. Okay, I think I almost glued it to the book page. So I think that will go 
decorative. They are just fine. May have to switch book pages. Maybe getting too much glue on it. Let's just fold it up. Let's just fold it up like that. We'll have a clean side there. And we won't have to switch. switch. I'm trying to see if there's a color that I haven't used a lot of. This one is really a darker paper, but it's kind of like some of the other ones though. Maybe I'll just add that one there. Try not to. Sometimes using that glue stick, you can get a bunch to come off and mess up your glue stick. I'm trying to be careful not to do that. So I'm still going to need a little strip there. That's, I'm just looking through it now, trying to see if I've covered all my tags. I know I got a piece right here, but then the rest is about covered, so let's just hold it up to the light. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just holding it up to the light so I can see what's missing. So all the edges are fine, so I just need to go in and fill in these white spaces. And which one do I want to use for that? Hmm. I think I'll take for down here. Is this long enough? I think it will be, yes. I'm just going to use a little strip of this. And I could have used some paper from the um, kit, I guess, with the blues in it. I didn't even think about that. We'll just use a neutral, though. We'll just keep it neutral today. Maybe we'll do that for the journaling cards. And then here, what could we put there? We'll just put a little bit of this. This one is lightly dyed. Oh, it's going to be right beside the same one. Let's use... There may, may not be a way to... I think it's, it comes to the center there with all the same colors. So let's just go this one. And I'll just tear it off and put it right here. We'll do this little centerpiece. We could use something different there. Let's use a little piece of this. I'm just going to tear it with my hands. Well, no, that matches. Let's go with the, this. Just a little strip of this brown. That'll be good. We'll see how these tags turned out. Nothing wasted. It was just scraps if it doesn't turn out. There we go. So let's lay those aside and let's do our journaling cards as well. And let's see, how are they? Okay, so I think I am going to do larger strips with the journaling cards. I think I'll just kind of go like this. Cover this whole, oops, i going to have to take the lid off if I'm going to glue it. And I'm just going to take and cover it up. And let's just see how this goes. Whole strip here. I'm getting lots of glue on it. It's wanting to make the paper curl. And I think this may just be copy paper dyed right here. It's not the 32 pound paper. So we're just going to put it all the way across here. There we go. And let me look over here where I've been working with the kit and just see what kind of scraps I have. Here's a little scrap from the kit. So let's just add it. But we'll square it off just a little bit. I'll just add it right in there. I'll put it right here just in case. Okay. Make a noise like that, it's going to make my girls start barking. They're going to think somebody's knocking. I have to try to keep that glue stick quiet. Okay, let's see what else do we have that I could use that's kind of solid but with a print. This one may would work. It's got some blues in it. If we take it and go across the top there. And these were out of my scrap bin as well. I'm just trying to clean it out, like I said. But I was trying to look for blues. This was some I pulled out yesterday when I was looking for some blues for another project. Let's see, is there any more in here that's... What if I just grab one of the sheets from the kit that's got lighter colors? Let me see here. This would be a good one. 
So let's put some, I want to put some more brown paper down first. This is definitely trash that I just saved. So, that's, that way we're not wasting. Kind of overlap it here. Okay, and then we will tear down some of this book page. Well, not book page, excuse me. Tear down some of this page from the kit. That's what we're going to do. That'll look pretty on the back. I'll tear it in half instead of such a long strip like that. I think I like this better. Just put that there. Got to keep in mind that this collage is not a collage that you're going to see the whole piece. So it's going to be cut apart. So it's not really going to, you don't have to worry about, you know, where you put everything so that it looks good. Like it looks like a good collage because it's going to be cut down so small that it's not going to matter. have made up some, oops, I wrote that. Let me just tear that part off. I put way too much glue on that one. So I have made up some, let's see, pockets for this, and it'll be in an upcoming video for this journal. I've also made up, I'm trying to remember what I've made up for it so far. I, oh, I'm, I made some jean tags in another video. That video is already live. And so I made that, the jean tags, which I think is going to look good in this journal. And I thought about making this a jean journal where I had lots of jean things in it, but I'm now debating, because I was thinking about making another jean cover, just a different type. But then I found a book cover that I had that I had you know, taken the pages out and was saving it to use as a journal cover. And so I'm thinking about using it because it's got blues and the colors in it that's in this kit. And I'm thinking that it might actually look really good as the cover, but I can't decide yet. I haven't totally decided. I'll have to just have to see as I go. The more, I, the closer I get to working on the journal, the actual cover, then I can decide. But that is all glued up. Let's get another page out. Well, here's a scrap piece of one of the pages, so let's just use it. done so we can cut them apart. I want to see how it's going to look. This is a fun way to cover the back. I know that. Anytime you can tear paper and glue it, it's fun, right? Oops, this paper is really thin. I am making a mess. I'm really tearing paper today. That's okay. We're just going to relax and not stress it today. Enjoying the process. Let's see if we can put this somewhere. I know it's not straight, but we can we can overlap somehow. And I don't know if you can hear the ice hitting the window. I have a window right beside me, and the ice is getting pretty loud hitting the window. So I don't know. So if you hear a noise, that's probably what you're hearing. It just comes and goes. It's with the wind, how it's blowing. Let's see, let's tear a piece of this off. Try to keep it a little bit straighter. Kind of add it. I think it needs just a little bit on that edge, okay. Just gonna add it right here. So these cover pretty quickly, I was trying to see where else needs it, according to the light. So just right in here is all that's left. All this is covered good because there's none coming all the way down there. I'm glad to use up some of this paper too that I've had in my scrap bin. I actually have, this is just one scrap bin I pulled from. I've got several shoe box size plastic boxes and those decorative ones that you get from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And I have those with scrap paper in them as well. So I've really got to get to using some of that scrap paper up. So 
so I can clean out some of those things because I'm having trouble figuring out where to store everything. And I've been working on cleaning up my craft room. It's gotten a little better, but I still have a lot more organizing I need to do. I think we all get that organizing fever when it comes to the end of the year and beginning of a new year. I see a lot of crafters online organizing this time of year for their their craft rooms. Put that there. And then right here in the middle, let's just take, here's a little piece, maybe that would, um, that may be the one we use, I'm just not sure. That might look cute there. It'll look good there, I don't know about cute, but it'll look good. Maybe like this, yeah. So I haven't really made, I made my winter theme planner. I made that one, and it's kind of a junk journal, but it wasn't a lot to it. I just made it very simple because I wanted to keep it pretty blank and ready for me to plan in. So I haven't really made a junk journal in 2022, so I'm excited to get one going. Okay, so now let's go back and let's just cut out our tags. And we may have to go back and add some glue and some spaces because it looks like some of it didn't stick. Let's see if I can get that off first. Normally I use my art glitter glue or my fabric tag when I am collaging. But today I just wanted to try this glue stick and see how it went. So let's just take and cut these tags out. Maybe we'll start like this so we can get the whole row at one time. And I like to do the tops of them like that too if they line up. Some companies with their digital kits, they, the tags and stuff don't line up, but these seem to line up just fine, so that's what we'll do. It's easier just to cut them with a paper trimmer and then I can go back and cut those corners with my scissors. I think this is a faster way to cut them. So here they all are and like I said I think I will have to lay them in a book to um, keep them from curling since I did use copy paper and then the glue stick. But I think the backs of them, each one is different and I like that. So and this was quick. It took me about 30 minutes not quite 30 minutes to cover the backs and cut them all out. So now let's let's just take a few minutes since we have just a few more minutes. I thought this video I'll have it about 45 minutes long. Let's see if we can decorate up a few. I do have some of my little bins over here where I've been decorating some of the pockets and things for this. And this is just some Tim Holtz um, field notes and some other ephemera from Tim Holtz. I'm not really sure. I love it, but I've been adding some mushrooms and things. I thought they looked neat on this. Now, some of these won't need anything. Like this one, I really like how it is with just the bird and the plant. So I think I'll not decorate that one up. This one could use something. I do have some butterflies that would be neat to add to this one. So let me get those out. This one may could just use one of these blue butterflies like that. And let's see blue butterfly and maybe some wording or maybe a label of some sort a little specimen card something I'm not sure stamp that would look neat just something simple like that I think that's neat let's just do that let me get my art glitter glue for that oh here's a piece of lace with that so I've got a piece of blue lace here that may work, work too got different pieces laying on my desk where I've been creating with this kit. I like that. That's just something simple added. Or do you want the stamp in the upper corner there? No, I think we could do like that. Like the stamp is on the a postcard. I kind of like that. Let's do it like that. Okay, so I need my Fabri-Tac to glue down the lace. Just going to put some glue here. 
where I wanted to add the lace. I'm just going to put the little stamp up there. Okay. And then the little butterfly. Let him overlap all the pieces. I like that. That just dresses up this little journaling card. And then for the tag, let's dress up one of the tags a little bit. Let's see here. Let's see we have, um, what do we have? Looking for things with blue on it. Maybe we start out with that. And what else do we have? That's not blue. still have another one of those butterflies, but I don't think I want another one of those. That would look good, but I don't think I want that. I want something different. Let me see from the kit. Let me lean over here and see what kind of ephemera we have left from the kit. Got some over here. This little girl is adorable. We might could add her. I think it needs a little something more. What about this piece of lace? Would that add to it? I think that's pretty. Kind of didn't want to cover those flowers up, but I'm wondering if it would look better to cover them up. Or what if we turned the lace this way? That might look better. And then we'll add our tag, I mean our little label, and then our little girl. I don't know, I liked it better up and down. I'm thinking just like this. Maybe we center it up instead of to the side. I like that. I think I'm going to add it. Do we need some book page behind it or some tea stain paper? Maybe something more. More to it. Let's just see. I don't want to take two. Oh, I forgot. There's little washi strips in the kit, too. This little washi strip may would work. Let me see which ones we have. Left over. I'm trying to find them. Here they are. Here's some different ones. Maybe that one would be better. Let's just try it and see. that, but I'm not sure about the little washi tape now. Maybe like that. I like that. It's just a little cluster to add to the tag. I have another thought. What if I make this as a cluster? Let's just make this up as a cluster first. So I'm just going to add some glue to this tea stain paper. And then I'm going to add the lace. And it looks like my glue wanted to fall over, doesn't it? Oops, it got a string. And then we're just going to have... Try to see. I'm just trying to make this up as a cluster now instead of on the tag first. So we're just going to add this to our lace. And I think I want to ink around the little girl. I think that I need to ink around that little circle. So let me find my inking tool and my ink. I can't find the ink that I'm looking for, so let's just go with the chocolate chip. I was looking for my Tim Holtz ink, my distress ink, but I'm not sure where I put it. I've been cleaning up and now it's not with the other ink, so I'm wondering if it's with one of the projects I was working on. 
I'll have to look and see later. I don't have to have it. This one works just fine. And then we put that there. We've got a cute little cluster. And then what I'm thinking, let's just see here. I'm thinking of hanging that cluster from the tag. So I do want to strengthen this up a little bit more. So I'm just going to add another little piece of paper about the same size to the back of this because this is just copy paper that's been tea stained. So I'm just going to strengthen it up with another little bit. And then I'm going to use my hole punch and punch a hole in it. Gonna have to ink that because we got a little white there. Get some of that white going where I punched it. And then I'm thinking of just punching this with the same thing and making it a cluster that's hanging off. Just want to ink that tea stain paper. Okay, so I had to pause the video for just a moment so I could go and get my ball pins because I want to attach it with a ball pin. And so I'm just going to explain to you guys how my mind works, <laughs> if you really want to know. So I went and found my container of ball pins. So while I was finding those in the same box, I saw these, and now I've got to figure out where it's at in here. So I saw a gear that had a heart in the center of it. So let's see if I can refind it now. It's just, okay, there it is. So it was just laying in there, and I looked and I saw that there was a gear in my bag of gears with a heart. So I was like, okay, that will be cute hanging. But then my mind, and this is all in just a few minute span, then my mind was like, well, what if you pull out your button jar and see what buttons could go on it too? So this is getting a little further than I had planned to do with it, but. That's how my mind works, and that's how I, that's actually how I craft. Um, easily sidetracked, but, you know, it, a lot of times it works out when I do that, and I follow my sidetrackedness. I don't know if that's a word or not, but when I follow that, I actually come out with something even cuter than when I began. Now, I do have, hold on just a second, I have these new, um, well, they're not new. They're new. They're new for me. I bought these. I have these new reinforcement labels. I bought these from Amazon. They were like a dollar something. It was hardly nothing, and they have. They already have the metallic on them. But then I also have these that I could ink. So which ones it might be cute to use one on this? Plus, it would reinforce this paper. I wonder about the copper. How that would look, or the gold. Let's just see here. I guess I could peel it off if I don't like it. But let's just. See how that looks. I kind of like that. So it kind of gives it a metal look on it. So let me put that down. And then we will add the ball pin. And let me see how I want to add all these other things. So I'm just going to put the ball pin through. And the ball pins and the, these came from Amazon as well. I bought those in bulk a year or two, a year ago when I got started in junk journaling. And these I bought last year. These are, I think they're from Amazon as well. I think all that was from Amazon. Oops. So then we got the little heart hanging down. But I've got glue all over my finger. So please excuse all that hanging off. It's the um, Fabri-Tac. It's all over my finger. So we've got this, but do I want to add a button first? So I found these little blue buttons while I was talking. I saw those. Well, you know what? I am a doofus today. I totally put it on the back side instead of the front. Now, now I'm trying to decide. I don't know that I want to hang the button. I'm thinking about gluing the button on. So let's just hang the gear on. There we have that. Is that how I want to do it? I'm going to think about that because I'm thinking, I guess that would be the way I want to do it. But that may be. Just trying to decide. 
then you've got that hanging there. And then I do want to add the button right here, but which one do I want to add? You've got just a little blue button, and you've got the blue one that's got the little white detail. I think that one, well, that one does match the blue here, but I'm kind of going for something. That one's too big. I think I'll just want to put this one there. I kind of like that. Or do I? That one does make it pop. Mm, subtle or pop? How about that one? Let's go with this one. In my jar of buttons, they are a collection that I've been collecting for years and years. So locally, well, about 30 minutes from here, which is local because we're very rural. So when I say locally, it means that I've drive at least 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, but there's a little fabric store. It's actually in a schoolhouse, an old schoolhouse. And they used to, years ago, out back in a little back building they had, you could, they had this huge, um, I think it was like a, I, a drink cooler, like an antique drink cooler, and it was full of buttons. And you could just go and scoop up buttons, and you bought them, I think, by the pound, and they were hardly nothing. And so I did that, and I used a lot of them up over time, because I used to uh, sew clothes, but then these I've collected through the years from those. And at one point in my life, I sat down when I used to make clothes and I sorted all of these out by their color and their style and had little baggies. And then when I got into junk journaling, I really wanted to just dump them all in this pickle jar. That, and I just um, painted this right here with spray paint. And I love it. I just have it sitting in my craft room. I think it's pretty. I think that the, I actually dumped them all in here because I thought it looks like a good decoration. I like the buttons. So this is drying, but then right in the middle of that button, um, is glue. I wonder if I should wipe that out or if I should find something to add to the center of that button. That's something I've never done, I don't think. Or if I have, I don't remember. Let's, that's a lot of my problems. I forget a lot of things. What if I added one of these blue pearls in the center? What would, that, would that just be crazy? Okay, so now I was going to make these up quickly so that this video was only 45 minutes long and I've taken the last 15 minutes on this one tag, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I may have to do some more in another video because this one is getting to be too long. Let's just see here. Oh, I like that. It's just different. I know it's probably insane, but I think I like that. I think it just adds a little something different to it. And these came from Amazon as well. I order a lot from Amazon, you can tell. Well, that's a cute little tag. At least we have this little tag made. And then we've, we've collaged all the backs of our journaling cards and tags. We have that done. And then we've actually, this one made me some more glue. My butterfly looks like he's about to take flight. His wing has gotten loose here. So let's just add a little bit more glue. We don't want him going anywhere. So he will go right there. Oops, now he's a mess. And I had a paper towel earlier when I was crafting, but who knows what I did with it. So let's just hold that down and wipe it. There we go. Alrighty, so we have that journaling card done. And then we have all these tags and journaling cards that we need to decorate up. So maybe I will get to that later today or later this week. Because I think this, it's been about 45 minutes, so I don't want to make the video go too long. It's going to bore you and you're not going to want to stay around and finish up the tags with me. So I'm going to stop there and at least we got, we got quite a bit done in that amount of time. And I hope that you are crafting along with me. Even if you don't have this kid, if you're crafting along with another kid or crafting along with some papers that you have or your scraps, pull out your scraps and see what you can make with those as well. That's what I'm going to be doing a lot of is trying to get rid of some of my scraps. And I'm trying to clean all the glue off my hands as I'm talking now, so I hope that's not distracting. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. It really helps us out as YouTubers. When you do subscribe, it lets YouTube know that you are liking our videos, and it helps us to get out there more. Well, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.